So welcome back, everyone. Uh, episode two, Final Fantasy IX. We get to follow around our hero, Baby. Oh no, no, heroin. Right. If we're gonna stick that, uh, I'm okay with any name. To tell the truth. That ticket is the size of him. Aw, they made her cute. They put W's instead of R's. You dwapped it. Just so you can enunciate it, man. Yeah. The sound is on. There we go. The sound is on. We have to start over. Yeah, that's fine. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, the sound is on. This is super distracting. It'll be alright. It'll okay. be alright. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, he just got hit by a, a, a rat. Rat kid. Yay. Rat kid. So, now, what is it called whenever you, you're giving something towards the beginning of a story that becomes important later? Uh, foreshadowing. Or there's another one. Uh, it could be Chekhov's gun. Chekhov's gun. That's another one. Um, oh, that was a Chekhov's gun right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, hey. uh, yep. Let's get your cards. Zombie card. Oh yeah. So what's the name of the uh, the game in this? Tetra Master. Tetra Master. There is a, there is, for something that's kind of simple, well, it just is simple, mm -hmm. there are actually these really absurd rules that go with them. It's not as bad as the Final Fantasy VIII game, mm -hmm. but what makes this game a little unique is that the cards actually do level up. Oh, okay. You have to win a net with them, though, and I've never, I think I've seen a card level up, like, once. Okay. Uh, so, again... Is there like a hidden XP system that's in the background of the game that you don't see, or is it is it obvious like you actually see how many fights you need to? No, it's it's hidden. Okay. There are actually a lot of hidden values in this game. Okay. Just like how you're picking up uh, items, there's a hidden score that keeps track of your hidden items oh. that, you, that you pick up, and that goes into something towards the end of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that being. Uh, oh, I guess it was in. Um, it's been in a few of them where there are uh, super powerful weapons that are hidden, and some of them are very, very esoteric. How you get them? Like it could be like, don't open these three chests, and, <sighs> and yeah, yeah, you know, and like if you don't if you don't open those three chests, you find it. But if you do, you're screwed. And there's no way to know at the beginning of the game how. Uh, uh, which chests to open or which which ones want, which ones don't. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I have that always leaves a really sour taste in my mouth. I, I just consider that bad. Now, it amazes me how many different races of uh, species there are in this game. Yeah, and, and uh, th that's something I want to speak about. This is definitely, uh, uh, especially coming from Seven and. Eight. Yeah, yeah. These are these are very cartoony looking characters, which I know a lot of people were upset about because it was kind of a returning to more of an innocent looking theme. Um, but uh, I, it doesn't really bother me too much. Ooh, it's a tap. It's, it's... It doesn't bother me. And if you actually remember, this actually happened with Wind Waker too. Yep, Legend of Zelda, mm -hmm. and people were really great and mistaken about undercutting it because of that. Yes, yes. Oh, I loved Wind Waker. I thought it was a great game. Okay. You keep missing your exclamation marks, man. I, well, I see them, but it's, the thing is, I move by them so fast that, like, I I don't stop. Uh, so, the stairs are broken. Uh, was there something about that light? Oh, there is. It's been so long, I don't, I don't remember where all of them are. But I think that'd be a bit mad if I did. Ooh. Hey, Ashley. That, that guy's name is Ashley. Uh, you know. it, it's, it, it's a masculine name, too. Yeah, I mean, what's, uh, uh, Evil Dead? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. His name is Ash, and his full name is Ashley. I, th I believe that it's Ashley. Maybe I'm wrong. Internet, let me know. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Comment you will. Below. I'm sure you will. Now, the one that, thing that kind of upset me about this is you, there are actual red mages in the game, right? Oh, are there? Yeah, that was his name, was Mel Red Mage. To the corner there. Ah, I gotta go back and look at him. I totally glossed over that. Really? Yeah. So if you if you know what a Red Mage is, yeah, yeah. you have a lot of explaining to do is how that 
persons able to exist before VV, uh, or the black mages themselves, really introduced themselves into society. Mm. Okay, yeah. Because the, the uh, red mages were like a mix between white and black mages. Uh, that's how they were introduced, at least, right? And warriors. Yeah, and warriors, that's right. Yeah. So they were like a catch all. Yep. Master, a jack of all trades, master of none. Or was it fighter? I don't remember. Yeah, it was fighter. It was actually fighter. Okay. Ah, first door. Don't have money. I got 27 gil, sir. Don't tell me I don't have any money. You have 574 gil. Ooh, I'm sitting on a big chunk of change here. All right, so do I need to buy any of these? Absolutely not. Okay, well, I'm going to leave them for later. Do I need to sell any of my stuff? Yeah, sell, sell the Mage Mash. <laughs> really? No. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Well, you tell me these things. Don't joke around, because I'll, I'll, I will take you seriously, because I don't know what's worth what. All right, so there's nothing in there. I think there, there is a little card somewhere around there. Okay. I don't know really before moving on. I'm gonna search around. Big mistake. You never did get the exclamation mark from here, though. In here? Yeah. So at the bottom of the screen. To the right. Oh, to oh, so the left and to the right. Card. Over here. Yep. All right. Yep. You may have enough cards now. How many cards do you have now? Four? No, I don't know. Let's find out. I have four. Four. And you need one more to battle. All right. And uh, is it like eight? You can challenge pretty much anybody who has a deck. Yep. Okay. And a lot of people have decks. Okay, cool. Oh. Gotta keep looking. I think that's it. I didn't find one on the screen. I I think I'm mistaken. Oh. Sign it. Okay. Yeah. Is there one in his shop? I think you did. I want to say you did find something in his shop already. I don't think so. No. Hey, man. Yeah. 38 gil, man. You can buy yourself, like, three beers, tops. All right. Is that the exchange rate for gil? I'm saying it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will accept that as canon now. Hollow. Honorable Lord. I do like flowers. Thank you. This lady here. So there actually is a shop uh, right there, and there should be some stuff in there. I like you just pointed at the screen, but you know our viewers can't see that. <laughs> to the top right, <laughs> there we you go. will see a shop. <laughs> it has a lovely red roof. The fellow here. Synthesis wife. Oh, yeah, the synthesis, yeah. You know, if I was a shopkeeper and some guy in a big hat came over and picked a, an item up off the floor in my shop, I would be yelling, thief. And a part of me wants to say, you know, this is a species you've never seen before. But we only, like, really see one of a lot of species in this game anyway. Okay. But can you imagine living in a world like that, where you just run into a new species of humanoid every day, and you're expected to deal with that? You know, um, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. It's happened before, not too far in the past, um, but I mean, you can think about the colonials, uh, the colonists, when they traveled over the oceans and went to all these other foreign lands with. Uh, uh, all these different colored, uh, <laughs> different skin colored peoples. Uh, That's a very pleasant way to put it. You know, it, it, it definitely was probably uh, very eye opening to the situation. Can I buy flowers from her? Yeah. It's not. All right, uh, let's go this way. There is no Aries or Aries in this game. Ooh, jump rope. Uh, huh? Jump rope. The screen yeah, you're actually going in the direction you need to go, so you want to explore other things first. Okay. So and you can jump rope, and you can get prizes from it. I am horrible at rhythm games. It is a very hard game. Uh, but I will give it a go, and if I really, really mess it up, um, 
bunch, I will let you try it. And we'll see if, if you can do any better. The timing is so weird on it. That person was very upset. Yikes. No rooms, man. Sneaky. The second red mage. Crazy. Hello. Oh, oh. Just a, an empty hallway. Okay. That you can lose yourself in it very easily. I, I get. <laughs> uh, yes, madam. Uh, after you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. I'm going to assume that was a madam. She had a pink bow. Another empty hallway, man. Mashing some buttons. <laughs> On the balcony. Hello, balcony. Maybe you can see the entire town from here. So apparently you can see the entire town from here, but you cannot. This is this is probably the most useless building in this game right now. Okay. I got nothing from that. Nothing at all. Some of these look like shop fronts that I should be able to like talk to somebody in them, but Yeah. Did you? Yeah, we totally got him, buddy. Oh. I assume they were here. Oh, what's that? Three heroic knights of Puto. Oh, oh, hold on, go back to that. Can you go back to that real quick? Because the knights of the Pluto are a real thing. The statue was built to commemorate the three knights who probably fall in the 15th Limbum War of 1601. Huh. Alright, we got some time frame here. If you get inside the ticket. So there was a war before this game at some point. All right, show the ticket. What's showing today? Uh, well, I can answer the second one. <laughs> let's see, let's see this one. Fine country, real but clean wrong. Okay, well, he's okay. not wrong. It is a fine country. All right, let's see who's queen. Beautiful dog. Okay, that really isn't who she is, but all right. Uh, today is Princess Garnet's 16th birthday, you know. No, I did not. I uh, assume this is repeat? Yes. Alright. What's shown today? I want to be your canary. Tantalus Company is performing. Alright. Um, before I show my ticket, I'm going to leave. And I can go over and talk with the, uh... Let's, let's do some job. Let's do it. Try sure. Let's give it a let's give it a go. All right. So you, I think it's X. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I tell you the timing is yeah. really weird, and you have to go through the entire sequence again just to start jump rope. Nope. Yeah. No. I, uh, oh, for those that might want to know, we are uh, playing this on an emulator. Which may be messing with the timing, but it also might be that I just am awful at video games. It is, no, it is it is the game. The game is really odd about the timing here. Okay. Uh, uh, no. No. I can't remember if you do it just as soon as the exclamation goes up or just as it goes away. It's one of the two. Not getting it whatsoever. Alright, give it a try, right, sir. Let's, let's see what happens. Hold my beer. <laughs> Oh boy, the pressure's on. Oh. <laughs> no, sir. Denied. I am going to jump this at least once. Once. Oh, there we go. Oh, he got it. He's found it. Yep, just as soon as it comes up. It gets faster after 10. Now, I'm always distracted. Oh, take oh. it off. You, get, you actually do get something every 10, but it's not really worth it. Alright. Unless you want to get like a super powerful trinket or uh, accessory. Yeah. Okay. A after 200 drops. Gotcha. Alright. And I think there's a card you can only get by doing this, if I'm not mistaken. But like, it's like way up there, and I've never bothered to get it. Are we talking like 50, 100? We're talking at least 100. At least 100. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, screw that. Well, um, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much uh, for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good night and have a modern day.